I'm going to show you how to install a side mount pull-out bin into a 300 base cabinet. You will require some tools, drills, measuring tape, square and a level. If you get stuck, always follow the instructions. There's two lots of lines we have to mark out here. One is for the drawer runners and one is for the lid holder. You'll find all the measurements in the instructions, so if you get confused, refer back to the instructions. And now I'm going to use a straight edge just so I can get that line all the way to the back. There's two things that have to attach to the side of the carcass. This holds the lid in place and this is the actual runners for the basket. So that's why we need two lots of screw holes to be pre-drilled. This one will go on the top and this one will go towards the bottom. Of course there's going to be a lot of drilling and marking out with this one. Now that we have those marks, we need to pre-drill the holes. When you're pre-drilling these holes, you just use a very small drill bit. That way the screws aren't too sloppy when you screw them in. In the instructions, it asks you to separate the runner from the side bracket. There's a little trick to this. If you pull it forward all the way out, and then there's a tiny little black lever. You just need to flip that up with your fingernail and the whole thing will come apart. Now it's time to install the hardware onto the side wall. When you're putting the screws in, ensure that they're fully screwed in, otherwise it might fail the drawer runner when they've pulled in and out. And that's the bracket for the lid as well. Now we're going to flip the cabinet over and do it all again. Okay, now that we've put the hardware in, we'll stand the cabinet up and put the drawer runner in. I'll now slide the drawer runner in and that little black clip that you saw before will go click when it's in position. Now we'll attach the frame for the bin lid. Now that the frame is in, we'll put the lid on and prepare to put the front panel on. Again, we're going to have a lot of marking out and pre-drilling before we can fix the panel on. All these measurements that you'll need for pre-drilling are in the instructions, so if you're concerned at all, just refer back to your instructions. Now we're going to fix the brackets onto the panel in order to fix the basket to that. Now we have to fix the panel to the basket. Again, all the hardware is provided and if you're not sure, just refer back to the instructions. You'll notice that the slots that we're fixing this panel through are a little bit longer than normal. That's to allow for you to adjust the door later. And now we'll just close it just to make sure that we have the right adjustments. It's time to put the bins in. So that's our 300 mil cabinet with the bins installed. We'll put the handles on later when we have all the doors and drawer fronts for the rest of the kitchen.